it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing my lifestyle and fashion favorites for June. Yes, June. I'm still battling this sore throat and cough. It is the most irritating thing ever. Uh, now Phoenix is not very well. Lily had it before. It's just like we're not starting our summer off great. I apologize. I'm still kind of <coughs> like coughing. <coughs> It's super dry and annoying. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my lifestyle favorites with you guys. It's like a lifestyle fashion favorites. I just kind of throw it all into one. So the very first thing is this new phone like hand holder that I recently just got. These things are so amazing. So probably many of you have used pop sockets in the past or heard of pop sockets. I've been using pop sockets for a long time, but a new company has come out called Nuckies and oh my goodness these are so much more comfortable than pop sockets so the original pop socket i actually have one here to compare the original pop sockets look like this and they're kind of like this weird i guess it's like a rubber material and they kind of only click out to like one two sizes like if you have bigger fingers or smaller fingers it's kind of like only two sizes versus like this new one that I have that I absolutely love, it stretches out. So let me just try and show you here. Do you guys see how it has like a little stretchy little string here? So this one's cool because it has a magnet. So when you're done, it automatically just kind of like sticks back in. Like you barely just have to tap. Oh, like that one went right in. Most of the time it just goes right in, but sometimes it kind of like, oh, that one went right in. So it lies really nice. It just kind of like immediately goes back in and then it's really easy to hold because you can get it all the way up to your actual knuckle or you can have it down here which is really nice the one that i have is like this adorable little giraffe blowing a bubble gum bubble which is super cute and then it also has these little like slots can you guys see this right here so that you can put your little whoops there we go your little thing in it and then it makes it like a stand so it stands up on a table but then they also have it sideways so that you can have it this way or that way which is really cool because then it's like a little phone stand all in one but they're just so comfortable it really makes holding your phone so much more comfortable because I found with the pop, pop sockets you can really only go to about here because if you try to go further on the phone it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable because it only goes out so far and then like Jay had one on his phone, but because he's got such big fingers, he, he didn't like it because it was so like, like restrictive because it only goes out so far. And then you have all of this extra material right here that is like all up in your business. Whereas this one is like literally completely flat. So when you stick it in, it like molds to your fingers in a way, like it just kind of is more custom so that if you are someone who has larger fingers or if you want to get something for your husband and you're like oh dang like his fingers are really big the pop sockets just he he was not a fan of and <clears throat> i thought i was a fan of it until i got one of these and i was like oh my god this is like so much more comfortable honestly like once you try it you'll know what i mean because it's really hard to like say through a camera like this is so comfortable it's i feel like until you get you get one then you'll know exactly what i mean but it's just like this stretchy, amazing, like, it just makes holding your phone so just like effortless. It's amazing. So that's the one I have. I have a few different ones to show you of like the other designs. So they've got some really cute ones. This one is like a really fun little flamingo, kind of like fluorescent light. Then they have this one, which is like totally good for the avocado toast lover. Look at that, isn't that adorable? So this is what it looks like when you get the actual packaging. They are magnetic, so it snaps right back into place. There's another one that's a little bit kind of boho-y. We have palm trees, so I have a bunch. So I gave Jay one already. He has, um, it's like a little, like a corgi dog in a spaceship. There's this turtle one. This one reminds me of my brother actually, cause he used to live in Hawaii and like always get pictures of turtles. Then we have this one, which is kind of like just a black marble. And then for the coffee lovers, we have this little latte, which is super cute. In the morning when I'm doing my makeup, I just pop it right up and then I can watch music videos. So you can find these on Amazon. You can find them in major store retailers. And then of course, nuckies.com. I will leave the link down below for you guys to go and check them out. 
It's so comfortable guys. Once you try it, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and you will never go back to a pop socket again. And you guys know I've had one of the rings. Like I've tried the rings, I've tried the pop sockets because I'm a huge fan of like a phone grip. With these phones, like when you get the plus, my hands are small and like it's really awkward to be trying to like hold with one finger or hand. Normally you have to have two, but with this you can easily have one hand and like still swipe up and all this good stuff. So um, I absolutely love this and then boom, it just automatically goes in. Again, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below, including Nuckies. So definitely go and check them out and then you guys can go and check out their Instagram as well and they have like a bunch of cute designs on there. So be sure to go and do that. Next thing, as we're talking about phones, I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite apps. YouTube Music, that one right there. I'm super weird and I cannot stand Spotify. Jay uses Spotify all the time or Pandora, I can't deal with them. I find them really confusing to use. I just don't think that they're very like user friendly or like convenient. I find it just be annoying. I just don't deal with it. So usually what I do is like if I'm listening to music, I'll just put it on YouTube and then I don't look at the video. Like if I'm sitting here, then obviously I will. But if I wanna listen to music, I usually just go and find like a playlist of like my favorite artist and then it usually recommends all the people I love anyway. And I just use that to listen to. So then one day I logged into YouTube and it said, try our YouTube music app. And I was like, what? Finally, like I've been asking for this for so long. And so now they have an actual YouTube music app. You can just listen to the songs or you can actually like watch the videos and it will give you like ones that are recommended for you. And the ones they recommend are always what I love. And then they have your, um, what does that say? Your afternoon music. And then if you go down, it says your favorites, which when you get the app, you can go and like click all the people's faces that you like and then they'll give you music. So it's very custom and I feel like it's a much better system than Spotify personally. Um, you can do it so that you can pay and get no ads. I don't care about an ad. I'll just be patient and either skip through it or listen to it. Um, but then you can say like it says similar to Ariana Grande and it'll give you like a pop hot list. Taylor Swift, DNCE, Jessie J. Like it's really awesome. It's like such a good um, app. I highly recommend it if you guys haven't tried it yet. It's really good. It's like an iPhone. It's just boom, there you go. There, that's what it is. I don't know, I just find it to be way better. And the music that it recommends is actually music that I like. If I go and hit Ariana Grande's new song, then it'll give me the latest new songs that I know I like. So I just find it to be a lot more custom and it just gets me, it gets me. So I highly recommend that app. The Lightroom CC, this one right here. Um, that one you have to buy. It is kind of expensive. Well, I'm sorry. You don't buy it on your phone, but it only comes with like a few different filters. I bought the one for my computer and that's how I edit all of my Instagram pictures for that like really kind of like warm, kind of like ambery filter. I bought Fashion Mumbler's presets. I love her so very much. She's just awesome. And she came out with presets for the computer and so I bought them and then I normally used to have to like transfer my phone, my, my pictures from my computer onto my phone to post to Instagram. Then she made it so that you're able to just do it right through this Lightroom CC free app. So now like you can still go and buy the, the presets individually or as a bundle. I bought a bundle, so worth it because I feel like it's made my Instagram look so much like more themed and like more professional. My picture is on my phone. I just go into that. I fiddle with my little presets. Boom, there I am. And then I post to Instagram. So it's so easy. It's just made it really streamlined and really quick. So I love that. Um, so that would probably be like my second favorite app for the month because it's just the presets are so worth it, guys. If you have been wanting to have like a more, more of a themed look on your Instagram and you want everything to be more cohesive, then I highly recommend buying her presets. They are so good. I bought the first preset bundle and I think it was like three different ones. Now she's added, I think like two or three more. Uh, Valencia looks beautiful. I think it ends up being more cost effective if you buy the bundle, but they're such beautiful and it's so easy. You basically just click one thing and you're done. It's honestly so good. So highly recommend that. And then of course, if you haven't checked out Fashion Mumbler, please do, she's amazing. So yes, that's kind of like my phone stuff. I'll show you my new, my new background because I love this person on Instagram. Um, they have the most beautiful succulent and cactus pictures. I will leave their link down below to their Instagram. It's R-O-T-D creations. Really beautiful succulent pictures and I get a lot of my like background pictures from his feed because 
they're just so pretty like oh my goodness I just absolutely love them so highly recommend giving him a follow his stuff is amazing and he also sells stuff online on Etsy like succulent pots like like pots of succulents and things so if you are someone who is into succulents that would be a really great place to check out I'll leave his Etsy store down below as well I just found him randomly by searching succulents on Instagram and then I was like oh this is such a beautiful feed. Okay, next is another lifestyle favorite. This is my mug from Shop Good To Be. If you guys are not familiar with Shop Good To Me, it is a boutique. It is run by Michael and Alex, who, um, Alex has a beauty channel, but then they also have a vlog channel. They have a new baby, which he is so cute. Their house is perfection. Like, I just love everything Alex does. I just think she is awesome. She's super nice. I literally love this mug. I use it all the time because the handle, look how big that is dink slips right on in it's not like your fingers are all crunched up like this because I have a few mugs that like it's kind of small so this one's just really comfortable what I also love is I feel like she designed it really well because no matter whether you're a lefty or a righty there's a picture on both sides so it doesn't matter what hand you're holding it with you can always get a good picture it's just the most adorable little like illustration it's really cute, it says Coffee Squad. I actually never drink coffee and this is totally for tea, but it's a really good size. It gives you a lot of liquid in there and it's just so comfortable and it's so cute. And I always love supporting people who I find to be very kind and genuine. And I feel like Alex is one of those people, same with Michael. They just seem like really nice, genuinely like lovely people. Go and buy one from them because they're so sweet. I love them to death. Okay, next is a little bit of fashion. I got this from H&M and it was actually on clearance and I'm so happy I got it because it's such a comfortable, fabulous little bikini. This is the print, so it kind of like, it just looked a little bit like a wildflower, kind of like very boho. Um, and I love the fact that it comes up high, like it's a high neck and then it crisscrosses in the back. It's so cute on. And I have such a struggle trying to find bikinis, bathing suits, tankinis, whatever it is. They're all so revealing in the front because my boobs are so big and they are so saggy. Like even something that seems like it's gonna be okay and like cover everything up. It's like no matter what I put on, I feel like I'm so revealing and I hate it. I'm so self-conscious of my boobs, especially when I'm with the kids and I feel like Moms get judged anyway because they're like, girl, why are you showing your boobs off when you have kids? It's like, I'm sorry, I'm, I breastfed them for 8 million years and now my boobs are ginormous and saggy and I can't hide the suckers. So this one is great because it's a high neck. So, and it's comfortable though. It's not like claustrophobic. It comes like at a pretty good like height to where it shows, it like doesn't show any of my cleavage. It covers them all up. It actually kind of like makes them look a little bit smaller, which is really nice. And it's super comfortable to wear. It comes with padding and the padding is actually decent in there. And it was really affordable. Hopefully it's still available, but I'm very impressed with um, it. If you can just find, oh, I'm sorry. This was not from H&M. I'm lying. Oh, <gasps> bad Dobby. This was from American Eagle. And then I also got these bottoms and these are like a high rise or high waist but they have this like really cute little ruching on the side and these were like a mix and match but I thought that they went like really well together like see how the little flower so it's like a high waist and then I just feel like I'm like covered and then the back is quite big I got a size extra large they are a little bit loose like a, just a tiny bit big I could have probably gone with a large but you never know when you buy online if it's gonna cut off your thigh fat and I didn't want to look like a sausage roll so I got an extra large I could have gone with a large thinking back but I would rather have too big than too small another thing from American Eagle that I am so in love with or airy I can always get confused like are they two they're the same brand but are they two it's like is it Victoria's Secret and pink I never know anyway um now you guys know the boob struggle is real as you know if you have big boobs trying to find a strapless bra is a nightmare if they're padded or underwired basically your boobs just feel like they're gonna flop out um, and a lot of the time the bandeaus just slip right off so then boom you're walking along and then your boobs flying out um, this one is the first bandeau I have ever found that actually stays on all day long without me having to keep pulling it up or mess with it it literally is just on there I mean it's not gonna lift your boobs and make them look ginormously up but you know what sometimes there are situations in your life that you need a, a bandeau is it gonna give you support Probably not, but at least it's gonna keep them in place and you can still wear the top that you wanna wear without having to have all these straps going all over the place. So these are amazing. I got these from American Eagle and they have this really good little grippy part right here that really holds on and clings on to your boob. But then what's also really beautiful about them is that they have this little extra like 
you know, fabric down here and they're just really flattering. But they also come with straps that are detachable. So you can wear it with straps or you can wear it without. And I love them. They're so comfortable. I have one in this cream color and then the one I'm wearing right now is white. And they're just really comfortable to wear. And if you need a strapless like bandeau, sometimes these situations arise where you just need one. So this is the shirt I'm wearing. I took the straps off. It did actually have straps. But it kept, they were, they hit me in a really weird spot, so I just cut them off. But anyway, this is something that, like, normally I would just have to wear a regular sports bra, and then you have all these straps, and it looks ridiculous. And I really was like, you know what, this is ridiculous. I want to wear something that I don't have a bunch of straps hanging out. So I have it under here, and it fits really nice. I got a large. Even if you want to wear, like, something that, like, comes down a little bit lower in the armpit, and you keep the straps on, it's just really pretty to see that little lace, like, kind of, like, bandeau top bralette peeking through it just looks really cute so highly recommend those okay next is another fashion item i got these from target absolutely love them so much they're that really pretty crochet kind of material they have a very beautiful boho vibe i love them they're really comfortable to wear i was like oh is this gonna be like rubbing on my feet but they're not they're super comfortable they have this really nice kind of cushy pad so they're really comfortable to walk on as well so not only is the strap comfy but the actual like padding itself on the bottom is really comfortable and i believe i got them for like 10 bucks or something at target so affordable and really really cute on um, there's like a really great everyday sandal for the summertime. Next are some new sunglasses from Single Mom Mafia. They now have like a little subscription box where you can just like get sunglasses every single month. I do have a really small face and head, which is really annoying. <laughs> but most sunglasses like fly off my face or just make me look like an alien bug. So these are the aviators and you can see they're still a little bit big on me, but I love them so much. They're really cute. They're very comfortable. Um, and I love that like really pretty, pretty like pinky rose gold lens with the gold, or is it rose gold? I think it's gold frame. And then these ones are cute. These ones are a little bit smaller. So these ones are really great if you're gonna be just like, like I wear these when I go for walks in the morning because they're just a little bit smaller and like fit just a little bit like more. And then that's the side. They're just really comfortable. So yes, if you are looking for some new sunglasses, I'm obsessed with these. I love them so much. Okay, and then another favorite is this little bag. I got this in my daily look box. Um, this is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. They still have these available on Nordstrom, so I'll just link that down below because I don't know like how it works as far as daily look goes. I will include daily looks link because that's technically where I got it from, but I have seen this specific one at Nordstrom. And this is really cute. It's just like this really nice gray, it's kind of got like that quilted detailing. It's got the darker chain, which honestly, I, I usually prefer like a gold or a rose gold chain, but because this is already gray, I really do like the way it looks. And then it has a leather strap. I wore this the other day. I went out with my friend. We had a little girl's day and it was just like a really nice little bag. It does have a little kind of like clasp right there. So the inside of it has like a, a tiny little section for like credit cards. It's not huge. Like you can definitely fit like your phone, your keys, your cards and like a couple lip glosses or whatever. Um, but it is just a really nice small little crossbody bag. And I feel like it's one of those, oh, and there's also a pocket on the side, which is nice. Um, it's one of those that I feel like goes any time of year. Like you can wear this all year round because it's quite neutral. So I really do like that. My main bag has been this bag right here. This one is from Just Fab, so it's very affordable. I absolutely love it so, oh no, this little part's come undone. I got a hot glue gun that or something like that. But anyway, um, this is just so adorable. I love it, I love the color. It's like quite a sturdy structured tote. But then on the inside, it comes with another little bag. So it's like a two in one bag. So then you guys know I love doing the double bag where I put like a crossbody smaller bag inside of a bigger bag so that I can fit everything I need. But if I'm gonna be walking around for a long time, I don't have to carry around a huge bag. So this is awesome because it comes with this little like smaller bag inside and it's still actually a really great size. Like it's small enough to where it doesn't hurt my back but then it's big enough to where I can still fit my sunscreen, my wipes, my like all the stuff I need for the kids, snacks, whatever it may be. And then I have everything I need in there. And then it has like a nice long strap. 
and then it's just a nice crossbody. So I absolutely love this. This is like my daily purse currently. And then that one is kind of like more of like, oh, I'm going out to dinner for like a specific, it's like more of an occasion bag. And then my last fashion piece are these shorts. Now you guys probably saw these in a Target haul. And um, I've had so many people requesting another Target haul, guys. I have seen some new things in Target that I'm interested in getting, so I need to go and just like take some time by myself. Every time I go in there, I'm with the kids, and I'm like, oh, I'm not about to go try clothes on right now. Um, so I need to just take a time when I'm alone, and I can really like have a good look in there. These shorts I got in my last Target haul, I have worn the heck out of these, guys. I love them. They have this cute little ruffle on the bottom. I pretty much want to wear these every single day, and I have a few different um, like color options that I have been wearing. I love them to wear over my bathing suit at the beach because they're high-waisted, so they cover up my mommy fat pooch. And then they cover up my butt <laughs> so I can still wear like my bikini top and then have shorts and then I feel like my my little blobby tummy is not showing and my good old cellulite isn't showing and I'm like yes I feel fine right now <laughs> no one knows that I keep on eating so many s'mores and they're just a really lightweight very comfortable material I wear them around the house when I'm filming when I'm just doing chores uh, when I'm out playing in the backyard with the kids I live in these shorts so I highly recommend these I will link these down below if they still have them available they're just so comfortable so cute just the best shorts I've ever ever had in my life I love them and they were like 12 bucks I, this cough is never gonna go away the amount of honey and lemon tea <coughs> I have been drinking <coughs> is insane oh my god there's a huge bird do you see what I mean this little mug right here look how tiny you can only fit two fingers in it honey and lemon that's honey and lemon right there my favorite songs at the moment are Selena Gomez back to you and Ariana Grande no tears left to cry those are my two favorites. I also really like the Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa and Calvin Harris. There's a show that me and Jay just finished. It's called The Staircase. It is such an amazing series. So there's, I think 13 or 14 episodes. It's on Hulu, I believe, or Netflix. I don't know which one it is because Jay always does it, but either way, either one of those. <clears throat> and it's about this fellow who is basically on a murder trial for his wife. It is so, so good. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's not gore, um, I mean, there's a little bit of yuckiness to see, but it's not scary or anything gr really gruesome. I mean, you do see a little bit of like blood, but like, it's not bad. I'm not, I don't like scary stuff. I don't like thrillers. I'm not that type of person, but this one is really interesting. And it's just really interesting to see like how the system worked for him and um, or against him. It's just like a really good, very well-made show. So if you guys like murder mysteries, I highly recommend that. It's called The Staircase. There's also another show that is really awesome and it's called um, Evil Genius, the most diabolic bank heist or something like that. I'll try to link that one down, <laughs> down below as well. <laughs> <coughs> we watched that one too. That one was also really great. I think that one's only three episodes. Really, really interesting. There you go, guys. There is all of my lifestyle favorites for June. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Again, everything that I mentioned here will be linked down below. If I can find it, I will link it down for you guys. Also, don't forget to check out these Nuckies. I'm telling you, once Jay tried his, he was like, oh, because he didn't have anything on his phone after he took off the pop socket because he didn't like it. Um, and now he has one and I have one and I love it. Like it is just so, so good. Like, oh my goodness, guys. It's so much easier to hold your phone this way. And like, look how cute that little giraffe is blowing a bubble. So I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Enjoy yourselves. I was going to say, is it 4th of July weekend? No, it can't be. Is it? Hold on a minute. When is 4th of July? It's almost my birthday month. <clears throat> I'm going to be the big 3-3. Three three. It is 4th of July weekend. We'll all be darned. Okay, well enjoy your 4th of July weekend. How does that work? Do you still have fireworks on the 4th? I suppose you do. I don't know, either way. I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Have fun, be safe, don't drink and drive, don't text and drive. I'm like such a mom right now. Um, okay, mwah, bye guys.